Hello, my name is Brent Bolster. I am the mechanical designer for the Cross Robotics Unit under the Cross Motion Solutions Division. Today is going to be the first in a series of videos about end of arm tooling. Today we'll be looking at end of arm tooling 101, maximum payloads. When considering a maximum payload, it is not only important to consider the weight, but how far the center of gravity is away from the tool flange. For each robot, there's a different graph that shows how far the center of gravity can reach away from the robot while still maintaining its full payload. This can be found in each respective robot's specification manuals and can be downloaded from the Universal Robot site itself. For today's example, we're going to use a UR3 and a Robotique Two Finger 140mm gripper. Now the Robotique gripper has a weight of one kilogram and we're going to guesstimate that the center of gravity is about 70 millimeters away from the tool flange. If we take a look at our graph for the UR3's maximum payload, we can see that we're well within the bounds of center of gravity and payload. One would assume that since only one kilogram has been used so far in the gripper, that we can afford to pick up two more kilograms in parts. Let's see what happens when we pick up this long part that stretches our center of gravity out to 200 millimeters. We can see from the graph that by moving the center of gravity out to 200 millimeters away from the tool flange, that our maximum payload has actually dropped down to roughly 2.4 kilograms. This means that the UR3 is actually underrated for this application and could result in unwarranted wear and tear on the robot. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again when we discuss electromechanical gripper options for the URs. Thank you. Have a good day.